welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you consider following me on Instagram and TikTok where I cover slightly different content but usually involving perfumes also. So today I'm really excited to bring you a review of a couple of perfumes. I re I recently posted a poll on my community tab on YouTube asking which fall fragrances you would like to hear me review and the top contenders were Angel Muse and Kate Walsh Boyfriend. So I'm going to be talking about those today. Before I jump into that, I hope you'll consider hitting the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video or update my community tab. You just have to select all notifications. So I've talked about Angel Muse on my channel quite a bit um, because it's one of my favorites. It's um, I recently lost my cap <laughs> around here somewhere, but this is from Mugler and this is a flanker of Angel, which is a very iconic and popular fragrance that came out in the late 90s. And um, so this has the original Angel DNA. Angel is really a very heavy, rich, delicious gourmand. It's got a lot of patchouli, it's got chocolate, caramel, um, lots of different notes, florals and spices and um, it's just a fascinating fragrance, I think, um, and very popular and like very heavy and rich and great for cold weather. So Angel Muse came out, um, I'll put the year up. It's been a few years. I want to say it's been like five or six years about since Angel Muse came up out. And this is really kind of, even though it's a flanker of Angel, it's really kind of its own thing because it's it's taking Angel to a very different level, even though you can kind of get that original Angel DNA in here. So this has grapefruit, pink pepper, patchouli, vetiver, and hazelnut. And so it's often been compared to Nutella and kind of like a powdery version of Nutella. But I really just love this one. Um, I originally had a very small... Uh, a very small bottle. Um, I think I got a half ounce on the Mugler website and then I ended up having to get this one because I love it so much. You don't need a lot of it. It's a very powerful fragrance. Um, Mugler tends to make very powerful fragrances. It's kind of their um, one of their trademarks. They, they tend to have very great lasting power, projection, sillage. This one's no exception. This one is, it's sweet, it's gourmand, it's inviting, it's delicious. Um, if you don't like um, Gourmands, this may not be the fragrance for you, um, but this is really something special, I think. This is the Eau de Parfum version. The Eau de Toilette is fairly popular too, and I have sampled it. I didn't like it as much, um, but it's nice. Um, so I really love this. It's, um, it's a heavy hitter. It's great for this time of year in the U.S. It's a very um, fall, winter fragrance, and um, you know, you get florals, this one works well for layering with certain things. I've tried layering this with um, other gourmands and it does pretty well with like vanillas and um, and kind of soft musk type fragrances. Um, I thought um, it might be a good idea to try layering this with a citrus because this has a grapefruit note in it. That didn't work too well. Um, I always am gonna be honest with you <laughs> and share my successes and my fails in the layering department. That was definitely a fail. So <laughs> I think I tried my Hermes Jardin Sur de Nil, which is a, has a very prominent grapefruit note and paired it with this. And it was, it wasn't good. In my opinion, it was pretty bad. <laughs> so, so, um, this I think layers with other gourmands. It probably layers well with something, um, like a, a nice light musk, like a Narciso Rodriguez pure musk type of fragrance. Um, but this is complex on its own, so I really don't need to layer it with different things. Um, but I usually get eight to 10 hours wear from this and I don't have to overspray. I can just spray like three or four times and I'll be good for the day. Um, I do love this so much. It's, um, it's in my top 10. I don't want to be without this one. Um, not that anybody's threatening to take it away, <laughs> but, and it's very popular. So I highly doubt it would get discontinued, but it's, it's just a gem and um, it's very popular for a very good reason. It, um, it almost smells like it could be niche in my opinion. Um, I've smelled um, Ani from Nishani and I've smelled 
um, Lune Feline from Atelier des Or, and they're not, um, they're definitely not dupes or alternatives, but they have sort of a similar vibe to me, um, where I don't feel I need to own those two very popular, very beautiful perfumes because I have this one. And this one kind of gives me that, um, that kind of feeling that those two perfumes gave me. Um, but I really love this and I, um, I love to wear it this time of year and it's just a, a beautiful fragrance. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this. If you've tried this or if you own it or if you love it or hate it, I'm, I'm always interested in hearing your thoughts on my videos. So definitely comment below if you have tried this and what you think. Um, I love it and it's, it's fabulous. So the next one I'm going to talk about is much newer to me, and this is from Kate Walsh. This is Boyfriend. So this came out, I think, in the early or mid-2000s originally, and um, and then it was re-released in 2018. Unfortunately, you can only purchase this on the Kate Walsh perfume website. So it's not like, it's not inconvenient, but you can't buy this at... Um, typical retailers that I'm aware of. If you know anything different about that, let me know in the comments because I would certainly be interested in other options. But I bought this from their website and it was a good experience. It wasn't bad at all. Um, and you can usually get a 10% off coupon by by giving them your email address and stuff. So it wasn't bad. I think it was around 50 um, with shipping and everything. And this is a beautiful, slightly gourmand, not nearly as gourmand as Angel Muse, but it's a it's a beautiful perfume for fall and winter also. And this one is um, has a plum top note that is gorgeous. I think the original might have had more chocolate to it. Um, I really like this. It's very classy and very grown up and you know, it's got a very beautiful kind of amber base and it's, I really love it. I think it's, um, it's a versatile fragrance. It's something that I feel like you could wear during the day or at night, going out, going to the office. Um, it's strong too. It's, it's got good lasting power. I get about six to eight hours. It's not quite as good as Muse for me, but it's decent. So I get about six to eight hours, good projection, good sillage, and, um, and it's, it's fabulous. So, um, so it's got a really beautiful amber to it. So I think it would layer well with other amber heavy fragrances. I did a amber centric, um, fragrances video. I'll post that up in the cards, but, um, like I could see this layering really beautifully with my Ellie Saab Essence number three ombre, something like Chal Chalamar Souffle probably would layer well with this. Um, it's just a very classy, beautiful, and, um, very gender neutral, very gorgeous. I I don't know that much about Kate Walsh. Um, I, she was in a very popular show that I didn't watch. She was recently in the Umbrella Academy, which I did watch, which is really good. If you like kind of um, fantasy, um, kind of superhero type um, shows, it was really good. So when I was looking for this um, on Fragrantica, I saw that the Fragrantica users had said Coco Woods from Nest is fairly similar several Fragrantica users said that and I did pick up Coco Woods and I really like it. I don't think it's super similar to this personally. It's much more chocolatey than this is and I like Coco Woods and I'm glad I got it but I don't think it's that similar to this. Um, other things it reminds me of are more like in the amber kind of because it's it's such a beautiful amber fragrance. So like I said the um, Ellie Sab Essence number no. three ombre, some of the Shalimar flankers, um, but this is a little bit sweeter, I think, than the ones I just mentioned. But I think it's a great perfume. And if you love something kind of rich and delicious and very amber and beautiful, and I think that plum top note really makes it stand out. And so this is a beautiful option. And again, I think it's really gender neutral. It would be beautiful on guys as well as women and anyone. So. Have you tried this? I would love to know your thoughts. I'll leave the information about um, where I purchased this, not sponsored of course, um, but I'll leave the link to the website in case you're interested in picking this up. Um, I would be interested in knowing your thoughts. If you have tried it, um, definitely leave me a comment below. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much.